Hello and welcome to Euphoria. Today I'm taking a look at lamp posts. I'm going to need quite a lot of lamp posts in the new town square in my Lego city. This is the big square that's going at the centre of my Lego city. It's called Harmonia Plaza. There are going to be lots of lamp posts in and around my town square. And before finalising the layout of the square, I want to work out how I'm going to make those lamp posts. I quite like the standard white lamp posts that come with the Lego modular buildings. I know that some people don't like them and they prefer to have black lamp posts. Lamp posts are available in black from Lego, so it's quite an easy job to change out the standard white ones for black ones. You can buy them individually from Lego, or you can get a pack of lamp posts in the extra poly bag, which contains a couple of standard lamp posts, and two smaller ones and you get post box and some other things as well but as I said I'm quite happy with the standard white lamp post that comes with the modular buildings incidentally they're also available in dark green and I do have some of those that I'm going to use for the older part of my town but in the town square which is kind of the showpiece of my Lego city we're going to have very nice, smart looking white lamp posts so that we can be proud of the centre of the city. So I got quite a few of these white lamp posts and as soon as I finish the design of the lamp standards, I'll be getting the workmen to install them in the town square of my Lego city. So I want to sort of jazz up the basic white lamp post slightly and I'm going to do that by adding to the height and adding a touch of gold. I'll go into the details of that in a minute. But I also need a variety of different styles of lamp posts. In the centre of the square we want to have plenty of light so I'm having lamp posts with four lamps on them. Around the square we also want to have good lighting so we're going to have lamp posts with two lamps on them and in the streets around we're going to have a single lamp post with a single lamp on them. I've got a set of designs here that are all the same height so they'll look good if they're installed together. So now I'm going to run through how I make these different designs and a couple of options for variations on these designs as well. So I'm going to run through how I make these different designs. And I'll start with a single lamp lamp post. Obviously that's fairly straightforward. Start with one of these lamp post parts. These are the ones currently supplied with the Lego modular buildings with four flutes on the base. Onto that I'm adding a white cone. Then for a bit of class I'm adding a round one by one plate in pearl gold followed by the minifig head in clear for the light and then the normal 2x2 two two small dish on the top. So as you can see that's a brick and a plate taller than your standard lamp post and with the extra height and the gold detailing it's just a bit classier. It's also the same height as the lamp post with two lamps that I'm going to show you next. The other nice thing I can do with having the lamp posts taller is instead of having a white cone piece here is to replace it with a one by one brick 
with a stud on one side or two sides and then use that to hold a street sign. I could either use a 1x3 tile for that or maybe um, a 1x4 tile for a longer name and I can centre it like this or I can have it pointing off to one side like that. I haven't decided on that yet but it's always a nice option to have. So for the two lamp lamp posts I start with the same basic lamp post piece but onto that I add a brick one by one with two studs on the side. I add a one by one tile to hide the stud on the top and to make the arms I use a tap piece in white and a gold one by one plate the one with the hole in the middle which goes on the tap onto that I can put the normal clear mini headpiece and the dish on the top which then goes on the side so and another one on the other side like that and that combination gives me the same height as the single lamp lamp post that I just made I'm also considering an alternative version of the two lamp lamp post with longer arms it starts off in the same way with the lamp post and the brick with studs on two sides and then I use this piece which is a minifigure signal paddle with a one by one round plate in white and another one by one round plate in gold this one doesn't need the hole in the middle then I can use the minifigure head in clear and the dish to complete the arm for this lamp post and with another one on the opposite side it makes this rather neat two-armed lamp post with the longer arms this one is obviously wider than the one I made before and I can't really decide which one I like best. What do you think? Do you like this one with the shorter arms better than this one with the longer arms? Let me know in the comments below. There is another option which is to use this piece for the arm. This is a bar with a stud at the end but it's not available in white this results in an arm that's about the same length as the one with the tap and I don't think it looks as nice so I'm not going to consider that option any further. Now I'll make the lamp post with four arms. It starts off in the same way as before but this time I'm using a one by one brick with studs on all four sides. I'll cap that with a one by one round tile and I'll make the arms in the same way as the previous one with a tap piece and a one by one round plate with a through hole then it's just the clear mini figurehead and the dish to make the arms and I use four of these this time to make the lamp standard with four arms and four lamps. I can also make a four armed lamp post with the longer arms like I did before with the two arm lamp post. 
And again, I'm not sure which of these two options I prefer. Maybe the short arm version looks a bit too crowded, but then maybe the long arm version looks a bit too spaced out. I actually quite like them both. So let me know what you think in the comments below. So that's about it for my quick look at street lamps. I'll do another video when I'm laying out the town square so you can see what I've decided. So don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about my mocks and my Lego city.